Sports. Comedy. Photography. Travel. Music. Nature. And entertainment for the entire family. It's all here for you to enjoy as you explore the wonderful world of Kodak video programs. Here are some previews of the very best family programming from Kodak. Hang on for the ultimate thrill ride. A roller coaster beyond your wildest imagination. Race seemingly out of control down the first hill. Corkscrew through the turns like a rocket, then plunge into darkness only to emerge into another twisting, turning section of track. Ride several of America's most daring roller coasters in Roller Coaster Thrills. Here's a three-volume series designed to improve young players' skills in soccer. The Graduated Soccer Method, Fundamentals and Technique. If you think I'm a man in a robot suit, you've made a mistake. If you think I'm a robot in a man suit, you're correct. Can we play? Oh, yeah, please. Can, can we? we? Can we? Certainly. Play the video and solve the mystery that saves the Earth. I've got the answer. Think. You're right. Robots, the most fun you can have with your VCR. A new craze is sweeping the nation. The yo-yo has come out of retirement, and Tommy Smothers is the yo-yo man. He now comes into your home in this brand new video for your entire family and friends to enjoy. For people of all ages, learn how to do yo-yo tricks. The yo-yo man instructional video, a great gift idea from Kodak Video Programs. Join the fun, just say yo. Are you ready to win at your favorite Nintendo games? Imagine the power you have when you know the secret paths and you've seen how to score more points. Hi, my name is Skip Rogers, World, World Video, Video Game, game Champion. Champion. I got to be number one by practicing all day, every day. And now I want to show you how to win. We'll be reviewing five hot games in this volume. I'll show you tips and tricks and then you'll see a summary page showing you the high points. Don't worry if you miss something, just rewind the tape. If you've got any questions or suggestions, drop me a line. We can't answer all our mail, but we love hearing from you. Anyway, let's get going with these games. WrestleMania. This is the ultimate wrestling game. If you know about each wrestler's specialties, you'll be a formidable opponent in the ring. This is the hottest game of the year, as far as Skip Rogers is concerned. You get to be any wrestler you want. I'm Hulk in this round. Here's a flying drop kick. 
Those things flying by give you extra energy. Ooh, here's a body slam. The best move you can use. If you practice, you can climb the ropes for a flying kick. Andre's specialty is the body slam. Watch out for the backhand maneuvers. You can do the barge best if you start when the other guy is down. Wait until their energy is gone, then go for the pin. This time, I'll be Ted DiBiase, going up against the Macho Man. Ted kicks just like Hulk Hogan. His elbow smash is also devastating. Nothing gets the crowd like jumping off the ropes. Here's a body slam. Try to use combination hits, like coming off the ropes with a knee to the face, followed by an elbow or two. Finally, go for the pin. My all-time favorite is Bam Bam. He reminds me of the Three Stooges. Bam Bam likes headbutts and cartwheels, but he can't body slam. Here's a drop kick followed by a headbutt. Watch out for those backward elbows from Honky Tonk Man. Here's a leap from the ropes. Honky Tonk is very good with his hands. But just when it looks like it's over for Bam Bam, you get him in the corner, then finish him off with the famous cartwheel. In Andre versus Ted DiBiase, we'll see Andre with his best moves. The master of the body slam and the king of the headbutt. Remember, do that barge once the opponent is already down. The pin is almost a letdown after that. Double Dragon. You need to master the moves of the ninja in this game. Work on getting new powers and use weapons whenever you can. At the start, kick, don't punch. Climb this wall to surprise them. Whenever you can, grab a weapon. Here's a headbutt. Go forward twice fast to make it work. Here's a tricky way to add new skills. Keep punching twice, adding points, and then move away. Once you have enough to add a new skill, kill him off. Fight this adobo on the conveyor belt. Watch out for the dynamite here. Only one object can be held at a time, and you can't get rid of an old one. To jump kick, 
Hit A and B at the same time. Kick this guy over the edge. Kids ask me what kind of joystick I use. When you play all day, you need a stick that's comfortable and stands up to a lot of gameplay. Watch this block, kicking a knife with my bare feet. One of the best ways to win is to use their weapon. The hair pull is the most effective move against these guys. Here's the hair pull with the optional throw. When you can beat these two guys, you've really made it. Kick one, then the other. Once you get underground, don't take the trolley. Go deeper instead. Use as many hair pulls as you can against these two guys. The rest is up to you. Blaster Master! You're in a very complicated multi-level world. Be sure to make a map and pay close attention to the exact steps needed to get to a mutant boss. Once you get started, go straight to the ocean. Leave your buggy and swim. It's faster. When you find a pea, grab it. A flashing pea will restore all your energy. Don't touch these thorns. Use your cannon on the floating faces. Here's the first mutant boss. Get as close as you can to kill him. Grab the hyper tool and get out of here. Now you have better bullets. Remember, you also have missiles. Destroy the wall guard to get to area two. Area two is a little tougher. Use your missiles to get through here. Shoot them as they come around the corner. Avoid the lava pits. Grab the lightning pill. It will increase your firepower. To get to the second mutant, follow these steps. Follow the path. Cut through each room. Don't leave the path. Don't get into fights. Watch out for thorns. Fill up on energy. Use curved bullets to kill the bullet machine. Avoid the arms of the mutant. Shoot him as quick as you can. Now you can shoot through walls. Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. Imagine a huge world filled with tons of inventory and magic spells. Now add Dracula's body, cut into little pieces, and you've got Castlevania II. Be sure to make a map. You'll need money, that's the little hearts, to buy stuff. You can go to the woods and kill monsters, or wait until night. Then you can kill the ghouls in the village. In every village, there's a signpost. Stop and read it. Go to the top of these stairs and you'll have plenty of ghouls to kill for hearts.
Going into the church restores your energy. After you buy the Thorn Whip, White Crystal, and Holy Water, leave by the right side to the Jova Woods. Take the top path into the Vero's Woods. Go to Berkeley Mansion. To move up, put the arrow next to the crystal and you'll create an elevator. As you walk, throw holy water on the floor to find pitfalls. To get through a wall, see if holy water crumbles it. When you find the rib, use the stake and press the B button to get it. Go back to the turning point in Viros Woods and go down. Go to the town of Viros. Buy the dagger and use the holy water to get to the chain whip. Here's another signpost. Leave by the right side. Go to Dabby's path and break through the wall and get the sacred flame. Leave the village to your right and take the upper path through Ajiba Woods. When you get to Ajiba, buy garlic and laurels. You'll have to go through the floor to buy garlic. Here's an important hint. Go to the top of the village and get your crystal upgraded by the man in the gray suit. Leave Ajiba to the right. Go to the cemetery and leave your garlic. A man will appear and give you a knife. Leave and go to the Ajiba woods. Take the lower path. When you get to the end, Take the blue crystal and kneel. Now go to the right and down. This is Rover Mansion. Follow the same routine as Berkeley Mansion. Get a stake, then get Dracula's heart. After you get Dracula's heart, go all the way back to Jova. Walk straight through Jova, out to your left, to the Belasco Marsh. To get through this puddle, use the laurel. It'll make you invincible. Use the heart and the arrow to get a boat. Here is Brahms Mansion. Use the same tricks as before. Use the holy water to get a new clue. You must kill the god of death. Don't leave the room or you'll have to start over. Jump when the blocks go up. Get the diamond. Take the boat across the river. Then take the boat back and go left. Now you can get to Alder. Wait until day, then... Make sure you take the correct turning point. Get to Storyguri Cemetery and use the garlic again. Take the top path to Andal. 
buy a morning star and leave from the left. When you get to the end, use your red crystal and kneel. A tornado will come and get you. And it is up to you to get to the end and kill Dracula. Surf design. In surf design, you've got to ride the rails, avoid obstacles, and go for maximum airtime. Here's a quick way to rack up extra points. Ride the rails. In fact, you get a thousand extra points every time you jump up, so jump on and off in a hurry. Be sure to avoid the oil slicks. There's no way to land on your board once you've hit one. Watch out for beach balls and baseballs. If you can max out your yin-yang lives, you'll stop the timer and get all the time you want to finish the board. This is the key to scoring really big. Turtles can really mess up your board. Try to stomp them if you can. Here's a great ride. Try to pick up every point you can. Watch this move. I always pick the gorilla when I surf. He's a slightly cooler dude. Try to maximize your air time. If you're really good, you'll be able to go under the wave, right into the tunnel for more points. Don't hit the seagull. Here are some nice moves by your average cat in your average tuxedo. Go for air time for extra points. Kids ask me what kind of joystick I use. When you play all day, you need a stick that's comfortable and stands up to a lot of gameplay. That's why I like the Ultimate Remote from Bishu. It's my favorite because it's cordless. You don't have to worry about getting tied up in the cables and cords, and you can really move with the action. It also has automatic firing and slow motion. Perfect for analyzing a new section of the game. It worked great on Platoon. As a special bonus, you can call Bishu, and they'll send you a brochure and a special note from me, Skip Rogers, World, World Video, Video Game, game Champion. Champion. Ask your parents, then call them up. Tell them Skip sent you. Here are some coming attractions from other Score More Points videos. Here's what you'll see in some of the other tapes in this series. We'll be reviewing five hot games in this volume. I'll show you tips and tricks, and then you'll see a summary page showing you the high points. Don't worry if you miss something. <laughs> Just rewind the tape. 